Hi, I'm Annabelle Chaffee and I'm an ex-GB bobsleigh athlete, so I used to race for Great Britain for four years, um, predominantly as a youth athlete from about 2014 to 2018. Um, and Mike's asked me to kind of come along and share some of my story with you. Um, I think hopefully because I think it shows that actually, um, even in these crazy times, that there's still always opportunities out there and always something to think positively about and to sort of hope for. Um, so I suppose without further ado, I'll kind of <laughs> give you a brief overview of, of me and my story and, and where I've come from. So um, I think yeah, it always starts with how did I get into bobsleigh? Not your average sport that you can just join a school team or go and compete at locally. Um, so it's always, always a point of interest for people. And um, for me, I suppose there's um, a short answer, which is I was sent along to a trial for the national bobsleigh team. And lo and behold, I had this weird unknown talent for it. Um, and as they say, the rest is history. The slightly longer version um, is that actually it was, it happened while I was at school. I was in year 11, uh, year 10, sorry, um, sort of getting ready for like my last year of school, my GCSEs. And the PE teachers came up to me one day and bearing in mind this is July, it's hot, it's sunny, um, like literally hadn't ever considered a winter sport. I couldn't even ski at this point. And the PE teachers, they came up to me and they were like, um, Annabelle, they were like, can we talk to you please? And so I was thinking, oh gosh, like what have I done wrong now? Like have I missed a, a training or a practice that I was meant to go to? And they were like, oh no, we just need to talk to you about something. So I was like, okay, go along, see what it's about. And they're like, so we just needed to do some final assessments because we want to send you to a trial, um, but we need to check that you can sprint 30 metres in a certain time and standing long jump a certain distance. They were the criteria that I had to meet. And I was like, oh, okay. And they were like, and have you got your PE kit with you today? Because we wanted to do it today. And I was like, it happened to be the one day of the week that I didn't have any kit with me. Um, so anyway, so they found me some, I think I borrowed a friend's pair of leggings and t-shirt. I found some trainers um, in Lost Property and they took me out on the school field and tested me um, to see if I could meet those, those criteria, the 30 meters and, and the standing long jump distance. And it was such a weird experience. Like I say, it was July, it was hot, sunny. I'd never really heard of bobsleigh, had no really real idea of what it was apart from having watched Cool Runnings. And I think for me, what I realised after that was, was why, why pick me? Why did they ask me to do that? And I think, okay, I had a background as an athlete, so I did sprint and I did do long jump, but trust me, to no amazing level. I think I only ever made it to county a couple of times. I was never going to be an elite athlete at this point and can kind of given up with that dream. So, so why did they pick me? And I think one reflection, it was because actually I... The whole way through school I always loved sport and I loved being active and taking part in anything and I always said yes and that in turn saw me try I think about 10 different sports and they went from sort of like trampolining to cross country to rugby like your traditional sort of rounders hockey netball and I literally did everything that I could get my hands on and in deep down it was all because one day I was hoping that I would find like the one that fit me and it was my sport and it was where I was meant to be and I guess I was fortunate enough that actually that then did become bobsleigh for me so I turned up at this trial and it was down at Bath University and my mum and dad drove me down and it was a Saturday it was still hot and sunny still July and I trialed for the team and one of the big things for me was like when I arrived at the trial, I was met by quite a few other teenage girls and they were a few years older than me, so it was a bit intimidating. But as soon as they um, heard how much I weighed, so they have to weigh you because Bob says a weight-based sport, they were so excited and so happy for me that I was actually so heavy. And for me, that was a really special moment. Like I say, it kind of really reinstated the fact that actually I'd found my one and I'd found my sport. And I suppose... Why, why am I telling you this? I think for me, it's actually that like, whatever you love, for me it was sport, whatever you love and you're interested in, there's always an opportunity out there that's somehow related to it. It may not be what you think it is at first, like who thought I was ever gonna do bobsleigh? 
And I think sp especially at these kind of times within COVID and within this crisis when we don't know whether we're coming or going or what's going to happen, you know, next week, let alone next year, it's really hard or it's really easy, sorry, to lose focus of actually what we love and what we enjoy. And I think rightly so, we all get wrapped up in the sort of very practicals and trying to make it from one week to the next at the moment. But I think what I would say or what I'd encourage people to do is like not lose sight of the fact of what they love and what they want to achieve and actually try and take any of the opportunities that you see coming to yourselves over the next few months because it may not be what you'd planned or what you'd expected or kind of what you hoped that opportunity might look like but I think it's really crucial that actually you say yes to them because you have no idea where it might lead you and you have no idea like what might happen and for me that's something that I've always tried to carry on you know across like my professional life now as an adult and but it really stemmed from from kind of sport and just going yes I'll play that sport yes I'll give it a go you know I'd never ever dream of running cross country now but I'm so glad I did because it really did help me to find what was right and I think like I said, in these times, we're all gonna be facing so many different things and potentially facing opportunities that, that we're uncertain about or not sure if we should take. And I think my advice would be, yes, just go for it because we literally don't know where where we might end up. Um, so I suppose I, that, that for me is what I wanted to share with you. And um, from there, really, I suppose I have to tell you what happened. So I did trial for the national bobsay team. I did get in, I was selected. And like I said at the start, I did then go on to race um, for four years as, as part of the national bobsay team. Um, so I, yeah, so I raced internationally um, on the youth circuit and, and achieved some great things that I'm really proud of, such as going to the youth Olympics. But it all stemmed, all of that that I went on to achieve, all stemmed from me just saying yes and, and being willing to give something a go. And I think, yeah in these times I think we just have to try and remember that and try and stay positive um and and we will we'll, we will get somewhere we will come out of this thank you